Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Well, could you hear the difference? Could you tell when it changed? Well, neither can I. But it's up to you. It's just my opinion. So I recently um, just bought this Tonex pedal. And I'm going to tell you why. First, um, I may be hitting the stage next year. And... A lot of places don't allow you in Nashville, Tennessee. I, I know somebody that lives there. He, he was telling me a lot of places there, at least, they don't let you bring amps at all, period, anymore. They don't allow you to bring them. So it's like in ear setup only. So you're either using a laptop or quad cortex or, or Kemper or whatever. Well, out of all that stuff, this is the cheapest. Now, this comes with a lot of good stuff. And I'm going to do a a dedicated Tonex video. But the reason what led me to get this is because I've been recording some stuff and I've been using NAM. I use NAM all the time. Um, I, I use it for mostly everything. And, and I really want to be able to take a particular capture that I've been using and I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to show you where you can get it. Um, the specific one is by Drew Haas. It's an EVH 50 watt stealth and it's on the blue channel with a uh, tube screamer on it. It's a full rig capture and it's just killer. Now, a lot of people are doing full rig captures with Tonex, but if you, like me, I wanted that exact tone and I wanted to take it on the stage. Well, you can already do that with a laptop with NAM. Or Jason Zadora just bought a little a touchscreen computer all in one, and he was able to run it. But um, I'm just curious how that stuff's going to hold up in the heat if you have to play outside in the summer. So um, hopefully this will. <laughs> Otherwise, I wasted my money, and I just stick with a laptop because I've already had a laptop set up. But even if you don't have this pedal and you like messing around with Tonex program, which I didn't until now. If you want to take some NAM captures and you want to get them over to Tonex, you can. I'm going to show you how, but first let's hear two other examples. I'm going to let you hear them just all by themselves. I already made these and um, I will show you how I did it. So first I'm going to show you a clean tongue. I'm going to show you a dirty tongue. Same app. So I got permission from Dan. I am friends with him on Facebook. And um, I took his famous AC-10 clean tone and his AC-10 dirty tone, and I mimicked the tone to work in Tonex. So here is the initial tone. First, let's show you. Here's Nam, no EQ. This is just the AC-10. If you look in this folder, when you download Dan's uh, AC-10 capture, it's not a full rig. It doesn't come with a cabinet. So you have to add your own ca uh, IR, impulse response. And it don't matter what speaker you put on it. It sounds good. I went through several mic positions, several, um, <clears throat> several speakers, and it all sounds good. So I got this clean air one, as you can see in the folder. And then I put a... G12H Craneback 112, low gain, 421 and 57 Celestian. That you have to pay for if you want to get that IR, but that's not really what this group is. That's not really what the NAM group is about. It's not about IRs, it's about the captures. So that's just the IR used. Use whatever you want. <laughs> so here's what it sounds like. So I, now here's the Tonex one that I made for Tonex from that amp. I immediately hear 
and and you can tell right away after you do after you do make the IR the impulse response you can definitely hear a volume difference so this time I'm not going to talk and you just watch the screen and see which one I go for for the first one is the original and then I'm going to turn it pause it and go over the other one without talking I'm going to do this quickly so you can keep the sound in your in your brain hopefully you're not listening to this on your phone hopefully you're listening on some nice headphones or stereo like me or some good monitors. So here we go. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That I'm not hearing a lot of difference. There could be, and I've noticed this with a lot of times whenever I've done this in the past for my own use or with my own amps. Whenever you do this process, you lose some of the, the body, some of the tone, some of the low end. And, uh, but I think that's so close, especially for a live, uh, for a live thing. If you're gonna use it live and you want to take the tone with you, I think it's pretty dang good. Let's put some reverb on it and let's let you hear hear the reverb. Here's the tone X, and we'll see what we got going here. So I here, let's turn the reverb off. Okay, room. We want the mix up there. We'll turn the color. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need to. All right, now let's check out the dirty tone. This is also Dan's. This is in the same pack when you download um, the NAM pack. It comes with this pre this preset also AC10. He named it Rock, and I use the same impulse response. And once again, we don't need the EQ because I'm not using it. So. All right, here's the tone X. Once again, I'm <laughs> I'm really not hearing a difference. <laughs> You could get down to the detail, but this, just think, again, this is just for a live, just for a live situation. I think no one's going to notice. So, I'm, once again, I'm going to do it real quick so you can have it memorized, have the sound memorized in your head. And then hear the, directly hear the next one, and you, just to help you really hear it. So... <laughs> Okay, here is the next section. First one, and then I'll just watch. And here's, I'll go to the first one, and then the second one. All right, let's listen to this section right here. Going back to this. I don't hear a difference. <laughs> it sounds great. They, they both sound great. I think the reason is, I think the best results for this uh, is going to be, as far as an am, I think this is just an opinion, obviously. I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just telling you from experience here. Uh, I think the best way to mimic, I guess we're mimicking tones, from Neural Amp Modeler is to mimic it and set it to go into another um, AI 
machine learning sim, app sim. So let's see how we do it. We're gonna do, let's, get, let's do the dirty tone. First thing you're gonna need is M free form by Melda. This is not free. And when you download it, I have another, not me, um, I will link the video on how to get these other presets in here after you download it. And um, which one to use. This is the Guitar Tone copy machine. I believe um, Jason Zadora of Jay-Z IRs made this preset so everyone could enjoy it. So, first thing you want to do is group the, the two tones that you're going to, let's get rid of these, because we don't need these anymore. These, we're gonna do the dirty, the dirty channel. So first thing you wanna do is take these two and just grab and hold until that, whoop, right there, that groups them together. That's gonna, instead of sending, clicking right here and sending to that, we're just grouping them together so it's gonna send, it's gonna send, they're both gonna send their audio to this track, to this parent track. So after you've got the guitar copy machine, Um, link to that. Let's uh, let's back up a minute. Let's undo those. Okay. Now, first, the very first thing before you do anything is you want to record. You want to record um, on two sources at the same time. So I've got them on track four. So if we're going to do with Tone X in this case, which we are. You need to turn the cab section off. Pick and IK Multimedia gives you a whole bunch of stuff. So um, just type in Vox, and then it's going to give you Vox and say Character, Clean, and then Drive. And I went through them and without the cab and listened to the amount of distortion that I had um, because some of these are super fuzzy. Um, so this is the one that I went with is London Overdrive. Sounds pretty good. Let's listen. Well, I don't have anything loaded in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to record to both of these tracks at the same time. So both sections, both tracks have the exact same DI going in onto them. You could, or you could just copy and paste. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> so let's grab this guitar. Okay, so all you can hear right now is Neural Amp Modeler. You can't hear the other one. Okay, so let's just record. Um, we don't need a metro, we don't need nothing. Just make sure we're in the beginning. And it's gonna give you an error message. Hey, you're about to record on two tracks at the same time. I know. Okay, now that we got that, the only thing that's important is that the DI is the exact same. The exact same performance played by the exact same person. If you try to do this, I, I tried to do it um, 
I tried to do it with other people's playing and trying to play just like that. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know. I couldn't get it to sound the same. So this way works. Okay. Now, unarm. <sighs> and now you want to group them together. Boom. There we go. Okay. And now you want to make sure your second source. And we're going to turn a oh, monitor. doesn't matter because we're not recording. You need to make sure the the source that the, the in this case what M free form calls the target the target is what amp you want the tone <laughs> the tone that you want you want it to go to the target you want it that's that's the amp that you want that tone to sound like on <laughs> that sounds so stupid. That's the amp you're wanting the tone to come out of. So you want to turn the impulse uh, response area off on Tone X on whatever amp you're using. And I think you don't have to use, you don't have to use a Vox AC30. You could use any, in this case, dirty amp or heavy amp and just turn the gain down. This is matching the EQ curve. So it's not really, it's not matching the gain. Okay, so we're using that, and if you listen to that without the cab, it sounds like crap. <laughs> Terrible. We're going to mute that, and first we're going to open M Free Form, and we're going to listen, let it listen, and analyze from the NAM. Now, I've said before. <laughs> Whatever you do in your private personal business is your business. But if you're going to d show something like this, like I am to the public and how to do this, you should ask for permission, which I got permission from Dan. He also has NAM captures of this. Uh, I'm sorry. He also has Tonex captures of this amp, which are in the description too. So if you don't even want to go through this to get this particular tone, then go ahead and, and download the Tonex stuff. So this is what we're listening to and um, is his capture soloed. We want to press analyze and it's waiting to listen and you're going to play it. You don't need all that. You pretty much want this to listen until the lines stop moving. Now you can zoom in right here with your scroll wheel and see them moving still. But out here, it zoomed all the way out. When you stop seeing it move, let's do it again. I'm gonna reset it. Reset. I'm gonna reset and we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, you see how almost to the end it was almost completely stopped moving. That's what you want. Now you want it to analyze where you want that to go to, basically. So we've soloed the tone X one. Like I said, without the cab, without the cab on, and just now, once again, I didn't, uh, I must say, I just turned this, I just double clicked for this to um, be selected. I didn't mess with the EQ at all. You don't mess with the EQ. You don't go to advanced parameters and mess with this. This is not at five o'clock. This is where the person that made this IK Multimedia put it. So just leave it. Now it just takes all the, it just takes all the bull crap away from it later when you go, when you go to put it in. So we got that one soloed. We're gonna say analyze that one. Cool. 
Okay, and then you're going to say equalize. Now, this is what it's done. It has figured out how to manipulate the EQ curve of the Tonex amp with no cab to make it sound like the original source. So you say equalize and it does that. And then you want to go to IR and you want to name it whatever you want to name it. We'll say drive. We'll do it the same. I'll call it the same thing I already had it called. And I've got it, just select what folder you want it in, which this is my, my IR folder that I've created, my IRs that I've created, so. Yes, I want to overwrite because I've already done it. And now you want to take these off of M free form. So grab it right there together and go down here till the line straightens out completely right there. Boop, and they're no longer attached to M free form. Because if you leave them attached and you try to play them, they're going to sound bad. So, once again, we've already heard this. Um, we've already heard this from a previous example, but I'm going to play it, play them back to back again, so you can hear how they don't really sound different. <coughs> There was the original, here's this new one. That's not gonna work unless you add, <laughs> add the impulse response. Okay, so the impulse response that you just made, now you're gonna turn on the cab and you're gonna go in here and you're gonna select that. Yep. You're gonna select it now and now it should sound the same. Okay, let's try this again. Tonex. All right, I'm gonna do it quickly. No talking. I definitely hear a volume difference. That's something you'll notice. But all you gotta do is go in here and adjust the output, the input and the output, you wanna put the input in as high as you can before it hits the red at the end there. And then you can turn the output, you could probably turn it up all the way, to be honest. And then you've also got your volume there too. So what I like to do is I'll solo them both together, well, or not, just play them both together and look at the volumes of each one of them, just match them to however you want. That, that one's just a little bit low. It's almost canceling each other out. Cool, there you go. That's pretty cool. So, um, I know you might be wondering, what about a high gain tone? Okay, let's do it. I got a high gain tone from the beginning. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do a high gain tone. So now that you know how to do it, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to show you an example. This is my default. My default is, is, is the whole reason why I started, <laughs> why I started doing all this. And this is the EQ curve that I've put it at. This is just my personal taste. We don't want the same thing. Let's. Let's record something new. And I don't want to hear it come out the second one. Denoiser, it's, oh. Let's turn that on. No, we can't hear it. What is that noise? That's just sick. Sick's a good word for it. 
let's record something real quick. Uh, play something on the spot. You're recording on the two tracks at the same time, I know. Nice. That's good enough. That's probably more than we need. Cool, dude. Now, out of a time saver, I've already made this preset, obviously, because that's why I bought this pedal and why I got into Tonex. <laughs> so, um, preset, I've already made a preset and star and boop, there it is. Now this, if you wanna know what this is, um, this is a tone model that I paid for by Sonic Drive Studios. John um, made this, he's got two packs that he's made currently for Tonex. This is just uh, volume one. It comes with orange and a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier and then an EVH. Um, I've also made a clean tone for myself and a dirty tone. That's another video. I've, I've got a video specifically for my app for Tonex. Um, and I had to purchase, I had to purchase a, from Chop Tones to get a clean EVH because John at Sonic Drive doesn't have a clean EVH. Anyway, so whoop, character high gain. So yeah, um, where is it, dude? So um, Sonic Drive Studios is the head that I used, and then, yeah. And then I just used M Free Form to take the NAM capture, and I did the exact same thing without the, without the thing. And here is my impulse. This is Drew Haas for Tonex IR. I will leave a link to Google Drive for this for the am capture in case anybody wants to not go through all this and they just have tone x and they want to go buy that that head that ebh head you have to have that head whenever you make the impulse response you have to use that particular um head that you match it to or it won't sound the same so here's the original <laughs> Obviously a volume difference. So let's play them together. All right, they're kind of canceling each other out. Let's hear one to the other. I'm not going to talk. Okay, I definitely hear a difference. Um, it's very slight, but I do hear a difference. Um, but hey, it's gonna work for live. It's close, it's super close, so it's gonna work for a live performance for sure. Anyway, this has been kind of a long video, but I hope it's been helpful. Um, I plan to do get a Tonex capture box and actually do my amp, and uh, I'll probably give that out for free. Why not? I don't need no money off of that. I'm just not gonna make me no money. <laughs> anyway, I'll do it for free. Um, I'll leave the description. Uh, I'll leave the links for everything in the description for everything you want that uh, that I can give you in for the AC10, and I'll leave you the impulse response I made for Sonic Drive Studios EVH for Tonex, so you can get Drew Haas. I'll also leave the original Drew Haas link of his EVH Blue Channel for Nam. Um, that's available for free. Nam is available for free. So until next time, I appreciate it. Please hit the like and subscribe.